I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This is a great way to practice decision making in a four player game. As long as you can compartmentalize your decision making, there's a lot that can be learned. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we'll look at everybody's hand see where the strengths lie, maybe pick out a category to play. And then we'll do the Charleston. After the Charleston, you can be the fifth player if you want to. Look at everybody's hand and decide who you think will win the game. Write your guess in the comment section below, but be sure not to read any comments, otherwise you might be skewed with your guess. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. We almost have news. Pair of East, Red Dragon, one, four, six, nine in cracks, two, five, eight in dots, four, seven in bams. Only one multiple with East. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd build around the east. We only have four wins and then a dragon. So I would have a plan B. And I think the predominant pattern with number tiles would be evens. So I would play either evens or wins and dragons. I would keep all these tiles. We could maybe even do a year hand with that two and wins. So I would pass one of each tile. Little and big. Well, little number, middle number, big number. Let's see what we can do for player two also known as South. Pair of Norse, West, South, pair of green dragons and a white. Lots of wins and dragons. Four, nine in cracks, four, five, nine in dots with a pair of fours. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on winds and dragons. I would keep the fours though, because we could maybe play like numbers with fours and dragons if we get the four, bam. Maybe keep this four just in case. Now we do not have any jokers, so we could maybe try for three, four, five, or four, five, six pair hand but we have to make a choice because we have two nines left. I think what I would do here is keep the winds and dragons and pass those three. We may or may not use those. I would focus here. Two multiples in there. The news hand with dragons, we'd have to let that go though. There's one hand that uses winds and dragons where we could use the multiple, and that would be third hand from the bottom, news, pair, pung, pung, pair. 
and then a Kong of Dragons. So let's pass those and we'll see what happens. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. We have a Joker in East, four, six in Bams, one, two, six, seven, eight, nine in Dots, two, four, five in Cracks, no multiples. If this were your hand, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, the first thing I thought of was two, four, six, eight. And then I thought six through nine. We definitely don't need that. So by process of elimination, I think if we discard this and that, we could still do consecutive run or two, four, six, eight by passing those. Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. Flower, North, South, Red, Green. All singles. We have a three eight in BAMs with a pair of eights, one three seven nine in dots, and a four crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start here with the eights, and then I would hold options for the eights. Dragons could work, consecutive tiles could work. We have a split in there though. We could probably either use the seven or the nine, but probably not both. So I would probably discard those. Eights are evens. Wins with eights would be west, east and west, not north and south. So I would probably let that go. So then I would probably piece that out. I think no matter how you slice that, it's going to be a little bit risky. All right. So now we're going to do the Charleston. For the first right, east to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. We got a north. Lots of winds. So we have winds, single dragon. We're building a little consecutive run here. We have a little run there. I was thinking maybe we could try for a pair hand. Let's pass those three. The news pair hand is what I was thinking. Three little run, a little run of three tiles. Okay, here we picked up a five, four, five, dragon. I think we can pass those. Two, four, six, eight. We got a multiple in there now. Here's a five, five through nine. So here's two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. There is a hand that uses two, four, six, eight in two suits. I think I would focus on two, four, six, eight. That is a little bit risky, but we have two, four, six, eight. Is that the fourth hand down under evens? Or we have two, four, six, eight concealed. Even if we were to discard this, it's gonna be risky. 
so I think that's really the best we could do for now. Eight, seven, nine, we got an east there. That east can be used with the eight, maybe. We do have tiles we can pass, so let's just keep it. We're going across, east and west, north and south. No keepers at all. Oh, we got a three, and here's a one. One through five. Well, we have a gap right there. Three, four, five dragons. Almost news. Maybe we could try that pair hand. News pair hand. Let's break up the green dragon and start to let these go and focus on news pair hand. Oh, we got a multiple, an eight. So we have fours and eights. Here we're gonna have to make a choice. I don't like passing like numbers. I would probably break something up in here. We have two, four, six, eight. That would use both multiples. Two, four, six, eight. Fourth hand down. So I would probably let this four bam go since we have a pair of fours right there. And pass one of each suit. This probably can go next. We might be able to use one suit and then use this as joker bait, maybe. Oh, we got a nine and a seven. Seven, eight, seven, nine. We do have a five, but I don't think I would focus on big odds here because we have a pair of eights. I would focus on those eights. And then I'd probably let a wind go. We went across. Now we're going to do first left. So east to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. We have a dragon. Oh, here's a four. Maybe they could play fours northeast. Ooh, these are gonna all be risky. I think what I would do is probably let, hmm. We do have some like number potential here. No flowers though. And we'd have to throw away two pair. I think we should probably break this up and pass those. Focus on news, four, five, six, pair hand. No keepers. We did get this one, one through five. Oh, there's a matching dragon. Let's let the dragon go, green dragon. We're looking for evens. Whoa, look at that. Seven, nine, seven, nine, and an eight. Five, seven, nine. It looks like big odds might be stronger than this pair of eights. There are no mixed suit hands with seven, eight, nine, and two suits. I think what I would do is focus on seven, nine, and let the eight go. Maybe one of the dragons. Focus on big odds. Go with most of the multiples that work together. So this probably can go next. And we'll focus on five, seven, nine. Unless we get six, eight, we could maybe switch to consecutive run in one suit. We are now going on to second left. Dragons, oh, fours. Oh, okay. Nine, 
we don't need the two. Look at these fours. So we have northeast, south, and fours, and then dragons. We really don't need this. Let's just keep them. Um, I'm kind of thinking the winds are not coming. Maybe we should focus on fours, like numbers with fours. No keepers. Well, we got an east. That is a keeper, actually. So maybe this pair hand will work. We've got news. Three, four, five. We have to make a choice. So it's either pass like numbers or a white dragon. I think what I would do is mix that up and let a white the white dragon go as opposed to throwing or passing like numbers in ones. Focus on this pair hand. So now we have an eight. Here's six, eight. We've got a red dragon, but because of, let's see, our pair with this red dragon is not going to work in mixed suits because the second hand down, we would need a green dragon, not a red dragon. So I would let that go. Still focus on two, four, six, eight. We have one odds. And then we have dragons. I think I would keep that one and let those go. We're going across. Oh, red dragon. Look at that. Like numbers, if we can just get flowers. Here's a south now. We have to make a choice. We have more towards like numbers and fours than we do wins. We have three pair and three pair. Okay, so we have one tile to pass. I think what I would do is let the wins go. Maybe keep news potential because we could maybe play news with dragons but most likely these will go. This is going to be a little risky. No keepers here. Maybe pass 138. Okay, we got a 2 and a 6. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8 or 2, 4, 6, 8. That looks pretty strong right there because we've got three multiples. If we can just get flowers, we could play two, four, six, eight, the concealed hand. We're on last right. I think I would let these go and focus on these two suits. We've got a one. And a dragon, matching dragon right there. I would let these go at this point. Maybe break that up and focus on dots. If we could get threes, we could play the first odd hand. We're on last right. East to south, south to west, west to north. Dragon. Here's a five. Four or five dragon. I don't think this is going to be helpful. I would let those go. Ooh. This is why you don't want to pass two wins. I would probably focus on wins for this player. Let's see. We're on. We're going to do optional cross. I think I would pass two because we could still maybe play that pair hand and let this north go. We have an eight bam, but really two, four, six, eight, two suits, fourth hand down, or the concealed hand in two suits. I would let those three go. 
we were hoping for a three dot. Here's a multiple, nines. I don't think the flower's gonna be helpful. I think I'd rather pass fully, see if we can get our hands on a three dot. So we have three players wanting three and then one player wanting two for optional cross. So east and west, and then north and south. I think I would pass these two. So we have three, eight. I don't think that's gonna be helpful. Really what we want is maybe a flower here for the like number hand with dragons. Ooh, six discards. This was tough because they were between two hands, wins and fours. This player's maybe playing a pair hand. They've got three discards, which is not bad. Here we are playing two, four, six, eight. So we probably have four discard, five discards. Because if we play two, four, six, eight, we'll have six discards. If we play two, four, six, eight, we'll have five discards. Oh, we got a nine. Okay, if we could just get a three dot, that first hand looks good. Five discards. Okay, so this is going to be a challenge. Or we could do five, seven, nine, dragon. Okay, a lot of work's gonna have to go on with these hands. So I'm going to put this away, pause the video, and decide who you think is gonna win this game. Write your guess in the comment section below if you wanna be the fifth player. Let's start by discarding the wins, since we're not using them. We're gonna draw. Three crack. Let's discard nine crack. Nine bam. Let's let the south go. Okay, this player, the wins are gonna go down. If people don't hold wins, they discard them early. So it's a good thing they have lots of wins. We need to get that south and west sooner rather than later. Four, bam, we want odds. Let's let this red dragon go. We need a pair here if we play like numbers with fours. Here's a two bam. There's two, four, six, eight coming in. Keep your options open. Here's two, three, four. Two, three, four dragon. Let's let the south go. Okay, it's already getting scary here. We need a south. Three bam. Let's let that go. Six, one, half dozen, the other there. Five crack. We're looking for evens. We have a pair of odds. Let's just hold it and discard nine bam. One bam. We want a three dot, really. Nine crack. Let's throw that. It's already been discarded. Joker, that'll be helpful. Let's let the East go. Two BM, let's discard three crack. Really, all these are discards. Flower, okay. If we play two, four, six, eight, we need a flower. I think that's probably where what I would focus on. Concealed hand. 
let's just card seven bam okay this player we're looking for a three dot we got a four dot let's let the one bam go seven dot discard up here we can pung but we have a gap no pair I would not take it because of the threes being missing we could maybe later use a joker and play five seven nine dragon so I would let that go I wouldn't commit to this hand and pung that without that three I think we should let it go as painful as it is red dragon there's already a red dragon out but with the south out hmm let's keep the dragon and discard six bam the winds are going down flower two four six eight let's let this two crack go we do have some one suit potential there but we've got multiples in here now this is a concealed hand so we're gonna have to draw well red dragon let's discard eight bam oh the red dragon probably would have been a better discard because it's already out six crack all right so we've got two three four dragon like numbers with fours and dragons two four six eight and dragons and bams let's discard six crack up here this is concealed eight bam has been discarded so I probably wouldn't play this two four six eight hand because there's already two eight bams out now. Five dot. Okay, well that's interesting, but not helpful. Five dot. This looks pretty good. No gaps. White dragon. So I might focus on that five seven nine dragon hand. That is the second hand from the bottom under odds. Let's discard red. One bam. All right, so there's one through four. Oh, eight bam. We can discard that. Third one out. Two red dragons are out. So that most likely will be discarded soon seven crack one dot pair here if we can get three dots we just need a pair joker okay well that might be helpful especially because we let that seven go I don't think any way we go with this hand, we're gonna need a flower. Let's let the flower go. I'm kind of thinking five, seven, nine dragon might be good for that player. So we just got through the second wall. We're now going into the middle game. four bam that's a keeper maybe let's discard one crack joker so I would not play this pair hand I'd probably hold this for joker bait maybe see if we can get a joker and an exposure and let these go maybe we could keep the two for a potential year hand I would let these go five dot Oh, up here. We have no gaps. I think we should pong. 
and play 579 Dragon. Let's let the 4BM go. And down here, I think I would probably at this point leverage these dragons and play 234 Dragon. Use these as Joker Bait and discard these. The two, three, four dragon, this is a Pung, not a Kong. The middle number is the Kong. So we wouldn't need that four. I would let that four go and draw. Let's see, did we draw? No, okay, we got a south. That is the third south. So this hand up here, it's not gonna work. They won't be able to make their pair. They're in a world of hurt right now. So we need to reassess completely here. No south. The only thing I would think we could do here is use jokers for the south and let all these go or play defense because we have only a few number tiles. They can't play a year hand. I mean, not a year. Yeah, year. North and south Kongs we need. I don't know if that's going to work. North and south with odds. News, maybe. What about news with dragons? Yeah, that's south. That's painful. All right, well, let's draw and see what we get. Three dot. Oh, gosh. Look, three, four. All right, we have to make a choice. So, hmm. No pair hand potential there. North and south, we would need jokers. I think we should just focus on the wins and jokers and discard these. Red dragons are out. I think that's what I would do here is just try to play defensively or try to get jokers and wins. We have too many here. We could Kong the North, Pung the East, build up the West, and hope for Jokers here and play the first news hand. Or we could try maybe Concealed if we can get Flowers. Okay, so five BAM. We can discard that. Six dot. We have a Pung here. We've committed to five, seven, nine Dragon. These will go away. Let's discard six dot. West. Red dragon is out. Three dot. Oh gosh, look at that. Three dot. Oh. Two bam. Wow. Green Dragon. It's this player's turn, but this player can Kong, and I would. I would take that. Pure Kong. And I would discard West. This player up here could Pong with a Joker. It's the first West out. I think I would wait because we could still maybe play concealed. I would let it go. Eight crack. And we have all these tiles to discard. West. I would say this time I would take it with a joker and commit to the first hand. We could Kong and Pung. There's one more East. Of course, everybody now will be on alert. Let's discard three dot. So this player could still play that hand if they can get a three dot, because this is supposed to be Pung Pung Kong. One crack. Flower, we don't need it. Five crack. 
Okay, this we can let go. Now we need wins or jokers. Six bam. We can discard all those. Seven crack. Yeah, seven crack. Joker. Okay, that's nice. We can use that for the seven or white dragon. Four dot. Four dot. Four dot. Nobody can take it. These will be good discards probably. Seven bam. Nine bam. Two bam. This player is not picking. Okay, three dot or joker, seven dot, white dragon, eight bam. We got an eight bam. Seven bam. Seven crack. Six crack, that is a keeper. Oh, nice. All right, six dot. Very nice. These all need to be pungs. Whoops. Flower, we don't need it. Six dot, that was just discarded. Five bam. Three bam. It's this player's turn. This player needs that for a Kong. Can't take it though. Oh, there was a two bam we missed. Early. There's another one though. I wouldn't fret. Oops, one bam. Six bam. Flower. Oh, we could have stayed concealed and played news concealed with the flower. We're committed now. Joker. Very nice. Five crack. Very, very nice. They can use that anywhere in here. One crack. Seven crack. Seven bam. Okay, we need a keeper. Four dot. Five crack, nobody wanted. East, okay. East, hold your breath. Pong. Three dot. So there's two three dots out. They still have some hope if they can get the other three dot. All right, this player's turn. Last tile, third wall. Seven dot. It's this player's turn. We're going into the end game now. This player can pong, uh, Kong. We would need to Kong. Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong. I think I would go ahead and Kong. We kind of have to because the other seven dot is out. And then I would let the one dot go. Nobody wants it. West exchange, please. Thank you. All right, we need this in here. Oops. Okay, so we could Pung here. We need to Kong here. Let's let this one bam go. This player's turn. One dot, that was discarded. Two dot would be a keeper. And we'll discard four dot. 
these would be all good discards. Now we need a four, six, or eight dot to win. Six crack. That's actually been discarded, I think. And that is Mahjong right here. Concealed, flowers, two, four, six, eight, two suits, two, four, six, eight, concealed. This player missed a two, bam. I feel a little bad about that, but oversights do happen, and we could recover maybe with another joker and be all right. Here, winds went down early. Here, not too far along. We just need to get one more tile, one away from ready. Who did you bet on? Did you pick right? I picked right. I bet on West. I bet on West because of the Joker. And they had lots of 2468. I was thinking about maybe this player, but you never know with those wins. Even though they had no gaps, they were light on their south. So I decided to play with this player here. If you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give this exercise a try. It's a great way to practice decision making as long as you can compartmentalize your decision making. If you don't have a set of tiles at home, there's a link in the video description below for one I highly recommend. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.